Today I want to show you a curtain grid uh, definition I've been working in Dynamo that distribute a system of grids along the surface of a curtain wall based on a numerical pattern. On this screen you have the inputs of this algorithm and basically the user needs to define the distribution of grids pattern uh, in a list in the horizontal and in the vertical. Um, also I need to indicate in which view the different uh, curtain wall panels are going to get tagged in this case the ease elevation and optionally you can have horizontal and vertical alignment. So I'll start by making sure that I have selected the right curtain wall elevation. When I run this definition you will see that uh, Dynamo creates uh, automatically a distribution of grids. It tags the panel based on the size of the panel and technically enable me to see how many of those uh, panels matching the same area are. And it generates the schedule at the same time. So if I need to change that, uh, I'll just toggle this back and um, run it. This is going to clear the definitions. I can set up a new um, vertical panel. This time I'm going to do 10 and uh, 2 feet and uh, 3 feet. And I'm going to do a system of uh, 5, 2, and uh, 8. And uh, based on these rules, I toggle it again, run it, and uh, the curtain wall will be again uh, generated. So, in a nutshell, uh, the definition is uh, slightly big, uh, but I'm going to post it here on the blog so you can download it and play with it. Uh, you need a, a couple of packages, obviously ArchiLab, and another one that I just discovered that is called Reanimation which uh, has these uh, very good uh, definitions to create curtain grids. Um, just uh, a couple of things that I did is uh, to edit the reanimation node uh, and uh, in the Python script all I did is the list, delete the output uh, the last output, so um, that was the only way I was able to make the definition work. Uh, I'm not a Python expert, but uh, this uh, seems to do the trick. And then uh, the other thing I did is create a couple of custom Python definitions that basically um, uh, harvest the existing curtain grids in a selected wall. I'm going to edit to uh, let you know how this looks like. Um, this collects the grids in one direction and then the other one um, collects the grids in another direction. So uh, parts of this definition can be switched off. For example, you don't have to tag this or apply a code override. But as far as a way, you know, to very quickly create different types of um, curtain walls, I think it's a major uh, time saver. Uh, I'm going to clear this definition and show you that I can do the same in additional elevations. I'm going to open the south side and. Um, uh, obviously it's just a simple curtain wall when you look at the properties of this curtain wall it's nothing else than an empty curtain panel with a solid system and um, a, I'll create uh, the same definition uh, for this I just changed this uh, this selection uh, maybe I'll do this um, 
uh, justify to the right and uh, justify to the bottom and uh, and make sure that the tags are placed in the appropriate south elevation switching the toggle to false redraws the definition run it and uh, on the background you will see uh, shortly the distribution of grids according to the new uh, pattern.